So behind me, this is a DMG Mori DMU 60 Evo linear five axis machining center. Excitingly, this is one of the most dynamic five axis machines that they manufacture. Now, why is that? Well, this is a linear machine. And with the linear drives on the X and the Y axis means that this machine runs at a phenomenal 80 meters per minute. Now, it's, it's got a ball screw on the Z, so it's 60 meters a minute on the Z. But it's important to mention that the 60 Evo is available as the linear machine, which we have here, which we're going to review, or the non-linear machine, where it's all the axes are driven by a ball screw. But when you've got linear, you have got the ultimate in dynamic high-speed machining. Now, you're talking about linear technology with acceleration of like, around 2G. So rapids are important, but it's how quickly you get from point to point is, well, that's about linear technology and speed. So the 60 Evo linear, let's open the door because this is where it gets exciting as well. If you want to have a look in the machine, you've got a very neat and tidy five axis machine. The table's slightly, a slightly different configuration to some other five axis machines. You've got like the knuckle, the knuckle style table. Uh, from, a, from a capacity perspective, you are looking at, on the 60, you're looking at 600 in the X by 500 in the Y by 500 in the Z. Now I want to talk to you about speed and processing time because we mentioned the linear, uh, the linear drives giving us the speeds, but also you need a very fast processing time or processing speed to handle that type of speed. And this machine and this technology has exactly that. Talking to Neil Stewart earlier, who's the product manager on the milling side, you're looking, and I quote, at 0.4 millisecond per block or per line of code. So from that line of code actually coming from the control to transmitting that message and performing that function is 0.4 of a millisecond. So that coupled with the linear technology shows that you've got a super fast five axis machine. There is also another point on this that is TCPM. Now this is a, a function that comes on this machine and, and what that enables is it's means that all five axes on the machine know exactly where the other axis is. And what it means is where, when I used to sell five axis machines a few years ago, in fact a decade ago, uh, it, you always used to have to put a part on the center point of the table and that's where you used to have to take all your datums from and that's where the machine knew where the part was. What's changed these days with functions like TCPM? It means that you can actually take the part and you can position it anywhere on the table and the machine and the control will find out where that part is. And it will not only find where that part is, but during the machining process, it will know where every axis is in, in conjunction to the part. So you're not risking any uh, errors in accuracy or, 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 you know, any, well, basically you're going to get the part as good, whether it's in this position or whether it's in the center of the table. And that's a feature and function that comes as standard with this machine. Now, we also talk about accuracy. We talk about scales. This has got magma scales on this machine. This is a DMG Mori Magna scale. It's a digital scale, and whether if you've got contamination in the machine from oils and mists, etc., that doesn't affect the scales on this machine, so it means it's the ultimate in accuracy as well. What I do like about this too is the Y-axis. If we look here at the, uh, the Y-axis, it's a gantry-style machine. On the right here, you can see you've got a support, and equally on the left here, and the Y-axis moves backwards and forwards and you can see the width between the two supports, which just shows what well, you get much more rigidity from that type of construction. But you need it when you're machining at the speeds that we're talking about. So it, when we look at five axis machines, this is really at the very high end. The spindle on it is a 20,000 as standard and it's a Speedmaster spindle, which is a DMG Mori spindle. And it comes with a, an extended warranty compared to uh, spindles on previous machines because it's a newer spindle. It's their new design, it's new technology, uh, it's got more bearings within it. I'm not going to go into great detail because I don't know enough, but what I do know is they're high precision, high quality spindles. Now, let's go on to the control. So, we've got here the Celes control or the Celes front end on the Siemens control. As I touch this button, this is a really nice new novel control system. You can see here, it's very well laid out. It's like a series of apps, which is basically gonna give me a paperless control of this machine. It means that I no longer need to find maintenance manuals because they're all housed on here. 
I can put my drawings for my components on here and I'm not going to think, where's that drawing gone? Oh, it's under the forklift truck or it's gone under the pallet. It's all here on this control. I can also plan jobs in the job manager. I can click job manager, I can set up a job, I can assign it to somebody and I can control that job from start to finish. I can also check the, monitor or status monitor or the status monitor of the machine. I can see how much vibration is going through my spindle. I can see, I can talk about axes control, I can look at all the axes on the machine from a five axis perspective, how well they're performing, how much strain the machine is under. There is so many features within this control that, are, that will be new to a lot of engineers that are entering into the world of mach not just five axis machining, machining alone. The build of the machine, the foundation, where it all starts, on this particular model or on the Evo 60 linear that we have here, this is a polymer concrete base, the ultimate in machine bases for stability and heavy duty machining.